Hello everybody and welcome to another Top 5 Records video and another Top 5 Records Christmas video because a week ago I did a video with the best 5 warm Christmas records so the intimate cozy records and today I'll be talking about the 5 Christmas records videos which kind of makes you want to jump up and dance which get a more cheerful uh, festive feeling and um, I want to start off with off with something I am not I not usually put up because this album is a compilation, and uh, but it's not just a compilation because um, I don't like compilations from songs which have been released on other records. I'm I'm an album kind of guy, but I believe that this one was recorded specially for this, or was the first time that most of the songs were released on an album. Anyway, uh, Soul Christmas is a legendary album. Uh, it was also included in the Rolling Stones top uh, list of best um, albums and it's quite unique in uh, uh, the selection of songs that it holds. I believe these are all uh, Atlantic uh, 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 record songs um, and it has some brilliant, brilliant soulful interpretations of Christmas classics. Uh, for example, uh, we have Otis Redding doing White Christmas which is Gorgeous. It's he also does Merry Christmas Baby on this record, which is also brilliant, but his his white Christmas is it has such a nice feeling to it. Um it had book it has Booker T and the MGs doing jingle bells, it has uh, uh King Curtis, it has um uh, Clarence Carter. It is this is really good. Uh, Solomon Burke. I mean, this is a very, very nice record, and and yeah, it's not hard to find. I believe uh, it will definitely keep the cheer going this Christmas. On number four in this list, um, a rather unique album, and an album by a band I usually don't listen to, uh, but this is, in my opinion, their masterpiece, The Carpenters. And it's their wonderful Christmas portrait, and um, I was, I, I was, I, I didn't really dare to try this record because sometimes, most of the times, I think the Carpenters are a bit too much of a sweet tooth, a bit too produced, a bit too polished. But when this starts off, it's like it, it's it's so grand. It's but it's also. It reminds me of German uh, Christmases. I don't know why, but there are this. It's so sophisticated, brilliant. It's, it's, it's like like traveling with a train to the southern of Germany, somewhere in uh, near Munich in Bayern, and and encountering uh, a, a Christmas village. Uh, and it has the most wonderful melodies and orchestrations. This is really, really really a fascinating, great and uh, a delightful Christmas record. I strongly advise you to buy it. It's And it sounds, oh, it is the most beautiful production. All right, on number three, and this is a record people might have expected in this video, but not on three. Nevertheless, I'm gonna show it. A Christmas gift for you by, uh, actually, yeah, well, well, Phil Spector, it's, it's, it's Phil Spector's Christmas gift, but it has the Ronettes, the Crystals, Darlene Love, uh, Bob B, Socks, and the Blue Jeans. Um, th and this, uh, this, this is great. This is a classic. Uh, it is Christmas with a punch, with the wall of sound, and it has classic, brilliant interpretations of songs. I really, really enjoy this record. It is... Yeah, it is actually uh, one of the the most famous Christmas records, and it 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 does form a unity because this is of course not a record by a single artist. It's not a compilation either. This was specially produced and thought of uh, by Phil Spector. He, he he was he was thinking, how can I create the ultimate Christmas feeling, and which artists do I use? So he does put his name on top as as, as the lead artist and. Of course, he's not a lead artist. He's the producer, but he's he's the kind of guy. It's his concept. It's his uh, it's his album, in a, in a certain way, and these interpretations are are brilliant. 
I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus is so good on this. If you haven't heard it, buy it, put it on, it's awesome. Um, the number two is, again, uh, a compilation, but again, a compilation specially recorded for this record, just like the Phil Spector record. Um, why don't I have uh, as much uh, purely artist-based artist albums on this list as the other one? Because it is tough to get a full Christmas record right. Um, but with a lot of Christmas records, like uh, Robbie Williams' uh, Christmas record last year, there are moments you think, ah, oh, this is interesting, but to get an album the full length of the time, good, that is tough. And someone like Phil Spector uh, got to find the right artists. And um, this one is also uh, a, a product of a very good Christmas vision with loads of different artists involved. Um, it is the merry, it's a very special Christmas by yeah it's i i it, i don't know who put this together it, it it's kind of has this live eight vibe it's a, a keith herring drawing um but it's a bunch of uh, artists so uh the highlights for me are uh, bruce springsteen and the e street band merry christmas baby it's it it rocks it, it rocks as hell it's great madonna does santa baby pretty darn good um, Brian Adams, Run, Ru Rudolph Run. Bon Jovi, Backdoor Santa, it's a really nice. Sting, Gabriel's Message, and Sting, by the way, later put out uh, a, a winter record because they asked him to do a Christmas record. Um, uh, but his winter record, if you can find it, brilliant, buy it. Uh, John Cougar, Mellencamp, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. This is a very nice, very nice record. And uh, the highlight for me is uh, you two, Christmas Baby Please Come Home. They were in such a strong energy at that time. This is a, a typical 80s pop record. Um, it has some of the best 80s artists and they just together make a very nice, cheerful, lovely rock pop Christmas record. Now, the number one cheerful Christmas record um, for me um, is this one. The Beach Boys Christmas album. I truly, truly love this. Before I uh, listened to this record, I did not enjoy the Beach Boys. My bad, because right now I like to listen to them a lot. But this was the one that opened up their catalog for me. And it is the most beautiful, sincere collection of harmonies. It has so much Christmas classics and it is so cheerful, it is so lovely, it has a right refreshing energy, but it's also warm and Christmassy, so it's, it's, oh, it's a pure delight. Every song is brilliant. This one is in the full length, a pure record of enjoyment. The number one cheerful Christmas album, The Beach Boys, the Christmas album. So what do you guys think? I'll leave a comment below. And we'll keep the discussion about music open. And everyone have a great uh, Christmas month. Because Christmas, it's not just a couple of days. It is the entire month of December. Have fun.